areas that move through in the afternoon hours. But very similar pattern to yesterday, still driven by the southeast wind flow. I do think we'll have a slight subtle change which may direct more of a south wind pattern upon us, and maybe that will not provide so much of the peninsula rain activity from moving into our region. So we may be a little more dependent on the element of heating and moisture, and then maybe the sea breeze that will help to at least pop a few showers and storms. Maybe not so much from the east coast, but more or less from our own coast, which will move mostly to the north. We can have maybe some modest interactions around the Suwannee River Valley where we can see the heaviest rain later in the afternoon. But overall, about 60% of us can encounter rain at any given point in the day. Not continuously, of course, but if you do get those soaking downpours, you can get a quick inch or two or even higher, while most of us will still linger in the quarter inch to half inch category with some of the generalized scattered rain in the afternoon. But again, it's going to be very tough to find any kind of extensive sunshine right through the next seven days, and particularly this holiday weekend. A cold front comes in from the north, kind of stalls and fizzles out, so that will raise the coverage by Saturday and maybe decreasing a bit by Monday.